Hello, and thank you for watching my video. Sometimes I see or get questions. How can we integrate the Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance operations with Microsoft Teams? Well, we can think of creating all kinds of applications, for example, um, synchronizing data with Dataverse and create um, apps with Dataverse for Teams or any other method of developing some apps and embed it in Microsoft Teams. But you can also utilize or reuse existing Dynamics 365 pages in Teams. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Let's say we have a team for vendor payments collaborations in Teams, and we want to embed the workspace of the vendor payments in Teams. Now, usually when we have this page, we can do some navigation part like opening another menu or go to the recents. That part should not be part of the application within Teams. In that case, we can first start with limiting the navigation by adding another parameter in the URL, which is called limited nav and set the value to true. Now the page will reload and you'll see that there will be less options for navigation. The search bar is gone and we can't navigate to any other page anymore. Now we can copy this URL, go to the Teams page, and let's say we want to add finance operations on this team page. Then we can click on the plus button. And first of all, you think I might need to look for an application which is called Dynamics 365 or finance operations, etc. But it's quite easy. You only have to embed a website. And I already have it now as my reasons. But if you don't have it used recently, then you have to search for it. Uh, just scroll down or search like the website. Now, when we click this one, we can provide a certain name, vendor payments, and copy the URL we just copied from finance and operations. Now, I don't want to post a channel about this change. Save it, and now it will load Finance and Operations app in Microsoft Teams. Quite easy. Um, so what we can do more is also chat with our colleagues. We can start a conversation on this tab and information today. So we can ask questions uh, or hey, um, I just created a new payment journal. Can you please go ahead, check and approve it? That kind of things. And also we can just navigate to all information available from uh, the workspace itself. Now, as we limited the navigation with the URL parameter, and we want, if we want to go back to the main page, then we can just click on the reload page form at the top, and it will bring you back to the original vendor payments workspace. So this is a quite short demonstration of how to reuse forms in finance operations. And every form you have access to, you can just pick it and embed it as website in Teams. I hope this will help you also in your implementations or your scenarios for having the finance and operations pages in Teams. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.